I will tell you three things. If I tell them to you and they come true, then will you believe me? <laughs> tortured ears, there sounds unceasingly, a nightmare whirring and flapping, and a faint distant baying as of some gigantic hound. It is not dream. It is not, I fear, even madness, for too much has already happened to give me these merciful doubts. Sinjin is a mangled corpse. I alone know why, and such is my knowledge that I am about to blow out my brains for fear I shall be mangled in the same way. Down unlit and illimitable corridors of eldritch fantasy sweeps the black, shapeless nemesis that drives me to self-annihilation. May heaven forgive the folly and morbidity which led us both to so monstrous a fate. Wearied with the commonplaces of a prosaic world, where even the joys of romance and adventure soon grow stale, Sinjin and I had followed enthusiastically every aesthetic and intellectual movement which promised respite from our devastating ennui. The enigmas of the symbolists and the ecstasies of the pre-Raphaelites all were ours in their time. But each new mood was drained too soon of its diverting novelty and appeal. Only the somber philosophy of the decadence could hold us. And this we found potent only by increasing gradually the depth and diabolism of our penetrations. Baudelaire and Huismans were soon exhausted of thrills, till finally there remained for us only the more direct stimuli of unnatural personal experiences and adventures. It was
was this frightful emotional need which led us eventually to that detestable course which even in my present fear I mention with shame and timidity. That hideous extremity of human outrage, the abhorred practice of grave robbing. On October 29th, we found in the soft earth underneath the library window a series of footprints utterly impossible to describe. They were as baffling as the hordes of great bats which haunted the old manor house in unprecedented and increasing numbers. The horror reached a culmination on November 18th, when St. John, walking home after dark from the distant railway station, was seized by some frightful carnivorous thing and torn to ribbons. His screams had reached the house, and I had hastened to the terrible scene in time to hear a whir of wings and see a vague, black, cloudy thing silhouetted against the rising moon. My friend was dying when I spoke to him, and he could not answer coherently. All he could do was to whisper, the amulet, that damned thing. Then he collapsed, an inert mass of mangled flesh. I buried him the next midnight in one of our neglected gardens, and tumbled over his body one of the devilish rituals he had loved and honored. is all get out oh you know it we're live like a friggin golden idol baby <laughs> yeah that's the only thing i get out of bed for these days mm -hmm. there's got to be at least one idol preferably oh more God. right we're drowning in that by this point yeah well uh how ready do you feel for this like very intense mystery we have <laughs> I feel good. I was thinking about it um, and possible, you know, motifs and motives, you know. Really? Yeah. So how much do you remember about, like, so So we played some <laughs> up to this point. Right. But, uh, so, yeah, go ahead. Well, as, as the whole overarching story, if I can remember it, the idol is magic. They got it from an island. And it's causing nothing but trouble. People want it and are willing to kill over it. And Yeah, it's like my favorite movie, Nothing But Trouble. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> they saw that and made this game. Mm -hmm. And so it's a very... Um, what's I'm not that? gonna lie, that thing's pretty magic. It's basically magical. Exactly. Big old red dot and the crank. Yeah, a little guy on fire. I mean, truly. I wanted to like a um fan art of the Orville episode where in episode one with the tree and be like, can you figure <laughs> out what happened here? Oh. Wait, what? Say that again? Do you remember in the Orville the episode with the tree with the seed and yeah, the tire? The age go really fast? Right. Like, I want to do a time, or a, like, a fan art of that, like, a gif of them all just, like, reacting like, what's going on oh, here? Oh, in the style of this game? Yeah, exactly. I see. Okay, okay. I'm with mm -hmm. you. 
Uh, yeah, you should do that. I mean, for an audience of like, <laughs> like three people, would understand. Exactly. That. Exactly. All right. Uh, I took an edible today, for oh God, the first yes. time in a in a long time. And Francis said they're really. Do you have your card? No. I don't know how it even works in Philadelphia, but this is some kind of like it's one of those things that it's like not technically THC. It's like it's like Delta Eight oh, or something like that. I don't get Delta Eight. I've been Me neither. trying to keep up with the like you know legalese so I can start you know get back on the wagon. Um, but I've been seeing more of that and less of you know federal legalization. You know, yeah. I won't, I won't hold my breath, but I know I would like to happen. <laughs> Yeah, I don't actually know. I think Philly might be similar to Oklahoma, where it's like you'd have to pay money to get your card or something. So Um, stupid. Yeah. But these gummies have most, like, a ton of CBD, so I think it's probably just, like, chill out. Right, exactly. And that's, like, maybe Mm -hmm. why they're illegal. Mm Mm-hmm. But yeah. Truly. That is going to probably help me uh, make deductions. (laughs) I mean, honestly. Uh, do you want to finish explaining oh, all the well, stuff that's happened? Just, we can look at it. Let's look at it. Um, yeah. So, so let's review. Had... Ooh, a scroll. So we've got number one, doctor gets pushed this, off. Yes. The guy of this family whose name is Cloudsley, Cloudsley. is a dick. He killed the lawyer to get the idol. Oh, wait. I thought the doctor was the guy that got pushed. Yeah, he is the one with the, the scalpel. The doctor was the guy that got pushed by the lawyer. Oh, wait, no. See? We're wrong. We're wrong. This is why we have to Clouds- review. Cloudsley killed the doctor. Yes. Okay. Cloudsley. Albert Cloudsley killed the doctor. And brought the idol back to the... England. Yeah, what we're assuming is England. Exactly. I'm okay. trying to think. What's the What's the show where everybody's like fancy and they have the butlers? Downton Abbey. Yes, it's very Downton Abbey, but yeah. add an idol in there. <laughs> yeah, that's the one thing that show was missing. Exactly. A cursed idol. I almost, I almost saw the uh, Downton Abbey movie, only because they had like old. It was like. The timeline was, uh, they got to when, like, cinema, like, um, the 1910s and everything, or I think the Roaring Twenties, maybe, but, but, like, old cinema and how old movies were made and stuff, and I'm like, that... Oh, yeah, I remember the trailer for that. (laughs) Exactly. I... I think you would probably like it, honestly. I mean... It's just, like, straight up, it's like a, you know, like a drama, and it's, like... Oh, exactly. All Family, the, the different classes know. and their little fucking shit. Truly, I mean, honestly, uh, I would poison people so quickly, but I would, <laughs> I would be caught probably. Yeah, you like probably the worst executions happen to servants who like dis- disobeyed. Oh my! Literally, it's the worst crime. To be yeah. fair. Um. So, Sebastian Cloudsley. Fell off his damn he horse. Hit his head and just went to bed. Yeah. And bled out. And he didn't. He definitely did not get up in the mm-hmm. morning. And I don't know if that is his hunting attire that he's wearing. That's the what I didn't didn't really get. Well, I think he was hunting whenever he was riding the horse. Oh. And then fell and hit his head, and he just like crawled back into bed or something. Right. Right. And what what got us was the researching tire. Right, exactly. Yeah, that was a little like twist. I mean, that's what you gotta, you know, expect the unexpected in this game. Yes. Uh, so he he's Sebastian, and he wrote about spontaneous combustion. That's what we learned from this. Right. And he bequeathed the idol to a son. Oh, wait, I keep thinking that's going to take me to the... Oh, oh. <laughs> We're fine. Okay, so yeah. He gave the idol to Willard Wright. Which, 
Do I still have the family tree on mine? Let's see. Yes, Willard Wright is Edmund's son, and Edmund is Sebastian's brother. Yes, so Willard Wright was Sebastian, or no, the guy's mm -hmm. nephew. Yes. Not Sebastian. Sebastian's nephew. Sebastian. Okay. Um, David was his weird kind of like mafia type coachman. Mm hmm Edmund is a member of Parliament. Right. Peter Batley got screwed over in the inheritances. That's his son. Yes. And he's in debt. Mm-hmm. And then these guys, I don't know if we have to remember who they are, but James and Adam Pear. Truly, they got screwed over. Yeah. One got lucky, though. <laughs> yeah. He looks like he went on to live a great life. Truly. And then Rose Kubert, she's like an Orientalist sister who's yes. really into uh, other cultures. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Into the, like, the land of the Orient and things like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. And then we've got, oh yeah, so this one with the good-ass music. I'm not music, sure in the timeline, literally, though. I was wondering about that. I mean, this would have... This would have happened afterwards because Willard was killed. Right. Okay, so we can just think linearly. Mm-hmm. I think so. That Ash killed Willard, and Ash knew the coach guy from the other one, or he just had that tobacco that said, do you remember? It was like, yeah. uh, what's his face's bag? Yeah, we found out that Ash Blair is the name of a type of tobacco. Mm -hmm. So that's a, an assumed name. Um, But did anything else... Did we learn anything else in this? I guess they're like um, all members of a society that's like the Masons or something. Yes, about the idol, and he framed the death on that, um, not witch, but the guy who was oh, in yeah. prison. The guy that looks like mm -hmm. a witch. Exactly. And that would be Robert Redruth. Right. His art looks really cool. <laughs> Absolutely. And anything else? Oh yeah, that like company that the coachman works for mm -hmm. do some kind of like black market uh right oh yeah like smuggling kind of is greggy if you're gonna listen you need to help us you need to help <laughs> us solve these we need all the help with three brains together and i'm kind of high as well so oh God, just just wait until the next one because mm -hmm. if you think these are complicated right you're seeing through the veil <laughs> so this one is this is the letter about we don't know who it's from but it says i will come by in three days if you still have some spare space in your gin barrels you're w willing to earn extra money reach out to me so that's like the thing where like what were they shipping Oh uh, yeah, what were they? You like, know, what's just, his like, connection? Hot property. Well, we got a lot of chaos Only for chaos. you. Just yeah. wait until the next one. A damn lady was killed. Mm-hmm. So here we are in this giant house. Every room has one million clues. There's a dinner party happening. Yeah, everyone you go got look at invited. The, let's go look at the the scene of the crime. Mm -hmm. So that's Ruth. At Ruth at she something. Ate, she ate the poison juice. She ate the poison. <laughs> I think somebody actually gave her opium instead of like oh. tums. Classic, yeah. Well, no, I know, think that wonder. was. Wait, we gotta look at everything again. Yeah, we have. Pep I think it was on purpose. <laughs> that's fair Greggy. dinner has to come first oh my god but be careful because someone might put some some opium in there that's why you gotta right? stay uh, diligent so this note says 
Due to the sensitivity of your stomach, I advise abstaining mm-hmm. from alcohol and drink this tonic. Um, right. And the tonic made, if I can remember right, the tonic made the whatever drink she had cloudy, cloudy. And that's why when she saw cloudy liquid, she was like, yes. Yeah. Is But how many cloudy drinks are there? Because I thought there were almost two. Right. Okay, so we got one cloudy liquid here. Mm-hmm. Write that down. Uh, one sec. I or well, you can see chat at least, right? So that's yeah, that'll yeah. be fine if I close it. Okay. Because um, we need to figure out who was sitting in which seat. Right. I'm going to count the meals as one out of five, starting with one going clockwise. Okay. You keep your systems to yourself. You don't need to tell me, because that's one more thing for me to have to understand. And I, <laughs> Each I don't time have I the write bandwidth. A number, Each time I write a number, a letter would appear for some reason. So we're off to a good start. <laughs> on what? But meal on my notes app for some mm. reason. You never heard of so, pen and paper? Never. I heard okay. pen and teller. Boom. Hey. Okay, so I think... The tippy top of the table. Um, yeah. We have a glass of water on the right. Right. And then a glass of gray on the left. Yeah. Untouched, though. So I wonder. Right. And then a salad, just regular veg. Right. Um, are you writing that? Which? All of it. One salad water <laughs> gray drink untouched untouched is the water touched does it say mm, partially empty yes okay all right this one is partially empty yellow and partially salad okay next I'm going counterclockwise. Uh, okay, no worries. I forgot about the rules. It's okay. We're good. Okay, this one is a partial roast. Eaten roast. And then <laughs> partially empty red. Drinking red. Partially amber. Alert. Oh, okay. Hey, is there a drag queen called Amber Alert? That should be a thing, if it isn't. Ready for the next? Yes, partial... This shit is going to take forever. <laughs> no. Okay, drink in red. Yeah. Et salad. Et oh. Two salad. And then c- the cigar, remember? Little yes. pips. <laughs> yes. And then the last. Oh, speaking of Star Trek. Oh yeah. Pips what? are the uh, little dots they put on their collars to note their rank. That's not just, just Star Trek. That's just the military. Well, wait. I, I think... choose to not. You you are correct, but I choose to not recognize the military. <laughs> That's probably good. Yeah. Okay. Except you're gonna be really salad. confused when they bomb your uh, house for being a lib. I mean, friggin' God, you're the high <laughs> one, and I can't think of great bits. Damn it! Okay, okay. you got everything. Eat salad. Eat salad. Eat roast. This is on the one you are on. Yeah, I and assume. then uh, drinking red, partial cloudy. Drink. In, oh my god. Cloudy. You said the red one on the last one was drinking? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. And yeah, I agree that, like, being sober makes it harder to be creative and be like Benoit Blanc in your, I mean... in your thinking. Truly. So I'm at an advantage right now. 
Did you see Glass Onion? No. Um, I'm okay with not seeing it personally. Yeah, I mean, I it's like if someone put it on, I'd watch it. I gotcha. But it, that's Benoit Blanc. I can't remember. It's yeah. Been so long. Well, the first okay, one good. we saw. Right. Yeah, that was great. So. Yeah, I liked it. It's like you can just leave it there. Exactly. I mean, unless you get some really epic memes in it and some Twitter discourse. That's, absolutely. That's what I, you know, hope is in the way of the water, personally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's all discourse and buckle up, chuckle fuck threads. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, okay. so we know about this guy. This is a guy from Parliament called Edmund. Edmund. This is his home, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, I think you're right. And he's saying, it's poison, nobody touch a thing. And he's got two keys. We have Newt Gingrich by him. What? On the on his oh. left is Newt Gingrich. Yeah. Yeah, I see it. We don't know. She does seem unwell, that is fair. Yeah. I don't know what the doctor okay. is going to be able to do, if I'm honest. I mean, tell my aunt, you devil, I should execute on the spot. And We're that's... still missing one clue, but I feel like we've made everything red. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we have to look for it. This is Robert. Or Batley. Yes. Bat... It is Peter Batley. Peter Batley, yeah. Mm -hmm. The son of Sebastian. Yes. And he was trying to be seated next to the blonde lady. Mm -hmm. right. This is a butler. Maybe we can... With the notes. Yes. The note that says, if you get frustrated working, remember the tale about the rich lord who married his donkey and you'll feel better. Are you, is this making you sob? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was making me sob. I guess like, I, I mean, sh I'm i like, I should remember that. I should remember like the, the board member rich... who married a donkey. Literally. Such a fool. Whoa. Okay. Greg is saying Butler did it. Honestly. That's not crazy. Right. He he did get an annoying note from Peter about And that kind of could prove him innocent. The butt? Yeah, like that could be his like, oh this is my alibi. I didn't do it. Uh I don't know if it's an alibi. Okay. <laughs> All right, and then this oh. is the, uh, we got peptic mm. tonic, which we think is probably opium. Or it's regular and someone just put opium right. in it. We oh, got that's lemonade. lemonade. Weird. Yeah. I thought it was weird, this one. Me too. That one is fine. Then we got brandy. She's a fine mm -hmm. girl. Amber. What a good life she would be. Na, na, na. Na, 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 lady is the sea. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. I was gonna ask though. Okay. Well, you should consider getting some culture into your, you know, life. I mean, I've tried for <laughs> almost 30 years now. Yeah. God, I'm such an old man already. <laughs> Don't say that. That okay. means I'm older. Oh, true. That's true. All right. right, Edmund. So wait. Edmund? Which one of these guys is Edmund? Maybe this. The owner of the house. So that's him, I think. That's Edmund, you're saying? Well, yeah, who else would it be? No, Edmund is the, the parliament guy. Oh, yeah, you're right. Holy shit, this is... This is oh, not no. good. Oh no. <laughs> okay. okay. Edmund is the parliament guy. <laughs> right. Let's look at the Oh wait, do we have bridges? Yes. Um Yeah, we do. Take care of the So yeah. Lord Bridges must be the guy with the towel on his head. 
Yes. Write that down. Oh. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, Gregory. Do you have any um agencies or or what's that Lady Gaga movie where she is like in love with? Um... Oh, Star is Born. Yeah, I need to be recruited by like the Star is Born people. Literally. Have you ever seen that? Me? Yeah. No, I know. Because I, I knew, like, it's a remake of, like, a remake. I want to see the oh, I didn't even um, know that. Judy Garland version. Yeah, it's it's funny. It was, like, I think after she did Wizard of Oz, where it's making fun of the film industry and everything, like, showing all the plastic surgery she has to get. Oh. And, and they're like, oh, yeah, we got to, you know, uh, nip tuck or whatever up here. Uh, I don't like the idea of someone coming from my favorite and most morally pristine industry, Hollywood. Agreed. What's next? We're gonna Whoa. call it Holly Weird. Yep. Better not. Oh damn, Arista! I know. I, I can't wait to immediately do my. Uh, I can't wait to do my Johnny Cash spiral. Oh my god! On day two after being signed. Um, and you'll rip the sinks out of the wall, mm -hmm. like, in my favorite film. Name it. Card the Dewey Cox story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good job. Thank you. All okay. right, so he was threatened by... Back to this. He was threatened by... No, this actually does point to the butler. Because it's like, oh. True. He was getting threats from some kind of underground... Mm-hmm. And in the, like, cubbies and stuff on the side, there somebody has, like, some, you know, revolution stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll look at that again. This is Brotherhood of Masks. So this has to do with the idol, I think. Yes. The Brotherhood of Masks, they're, they try to own the idol or whatever. Right. So they said they would maybe unleash a steward upon you. And that could mm -hmm. be a little pit. Ah, true. I mean. And then this was Peter Batley saying, I'm going to try and sit by that lady. Okay. So he was announcing it like he was calling his shot. Yeah. He was literally saying, I heard you like her, but I'm mm -hmm. going to try and... <laughs> And also lend me 300 pounds, yeah. please. Yeah, yes, this guy sucks. Which we calculated to be like $500,000. <laughs> All right, we got this. Mm -hmm. Got some boring books. It's like when your trash can looks like that and you have notes from every like powerful quadrant mm -hmm. of the world. Oh, yes. All the wax seals and everything. And they're all like, want you to die and stuff. That's not good, bro. <laughs> Amen. Okay. Let's take a look at the thinking tab. Oh, nice. Okay. So we have Little Pip, the five dinner guests, the one butler, and the two kitchen mitts. Well, also like Dark Hand? What is that? Um, It's like Monkey Man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Obviously. We should have to identify Monkey Man on here. Right. That's I, another I song. That's, I mean, that I feel like is one of their um, the Brotherhoods maybe, their weird things. Yeah, probably. Okay, let's try and name these guys. So we have... Okay. We know Peter. Yes. We know Edmund. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put Tonic. True. We have we know little Pip. Oh yeah. God, he looks really bad. I mean... He looks like if you melted the berries and cream guy. Oh my god. 
Do you remember Meltman? Yes, I was just thinking about that. I was trying. To, yeah, I was thinking I mean, about Action League now. Hell yes. What did his voice sound like? I think he's like uh, like nasally, kind of like. Oh, what are we gonna do, guys? Was he something like that? There was a French one. That was, he was a stinky diver. diver. Stinky diver. Yeah. And I think he was Australian. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't get him confused in person. Oh god. All right. So who wanted Rose? I'm saying Rose here. Yes. And thus, blank poisoned the thing. Hit the key. Oh, wait. Right. Maybe this is different. Maybe they were trying to kill someone else. Oh, yeah. I like that. Okay. Let's leave that blank for now. Mm -hmm. And we, we know, know this is Rose, right? I think so. One sec. That that's the, that's is... the drinking one. Drinking cloudy, drinking red. Yeah. Yeah. Because if it drank cloudy, yeah. that's dead. True. A. A. And then we'll have to okay. figure out right. whose rooms. Um, George Bridges is Newt Gingrich. Okay. Um, this, I mean, what? I would think this is David then. Right. That's Ruth. Or no, Rose. Excuse me. Yes. And her. Oh, no, wait. Um, Richards is this maybe... lady. It's Lady Richards, so I guess maybe. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So Mary like, Richards. We can guess that. Okay. And then go back to the kitchen. Yeah. And because they, they say, thank you, dear, blah, blah, blah. Young Miss Richards, yes. Brian um, must be the butler. Butler. Okay. So it's not David. So maybe Brian Richards? No, he wouldn't be Richards because the oh, he would have to be a nobleman. That... Gotcha, yeah. Um Oh, but George Bridges is Newt Gingrich though. Are you sure? Yeah. Based on what? You had me write that down. <laughs> okay. Well no that that this doesn't rules. make sense. This... <laughs> Which oh, wait. part? Him? Wait, 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 wait. What'd she say? So Brian I is. I do not read literature, literature. We know his first name is Brian. Yes. Brian Stewart, maybe? Mm, no, that seems like a red herring. Yeah, it's like based on what? I don't think that's a red herring. <laughs> that's just a name well, that because... you thought. <laughs> because in the letter it said, like, we'll send a steward after you. Oh, I guess it's still not a red herring, but. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay, she's Ada. This is Ada. And she said Lu she said Lucia, so Nice. Now for last names though. I don't think servants have last names. No, they're filth. They're born out of the dust. Exactly. It's oh, like yeah. how they used to think uh how rats were born and like Aristotle times or whatever, they're like yeah, they have spontaneous, like, you just throw some old old meat and mm -hmm. you have birth, given birth to a rat. Yeah, that, I think the, the same street. thing with worms. Exactly. And flies. Um, so, you just gotta cut up a fly and then you have a fly army. <laughs> so we need to think about this note that's upstairs that says... I will not change the rule that the staff member who has worked here the longest gets the bottom room. Mm -hmm. Do not bother with such nonsense again okay that's cloudsley cloudsley signed it yes but, but what i'm room? what i'm talking about is ooh. okay so there's some magic stuff mm -hmm. um this room the bottom room with the servants in it has like mm -hmm. i'm gonna kill the nobility stuff right so and they, they this, might be part of the thing the uh, underground whatever the older guy, he may have worked there the longest, so points more towards the butler. Yes. So the butler, yes, yes, yes. Okay. We're mm -hmm. putting Brian. Yes. Brian's down there. Mm hmm. And he wrote in his little diary. 
They say, signed, Brian Dennehy. Who's that? I think he's a sports guy. He was on the South Park movie, my favorite film. Oh, yeah. I mean, it is good. There's a lot of good songs. Absolutely. Okay, so here's some names. Okay, so Baker and Smith are either one of the ladies, so that's helpful. And then Mr. Walker. I don't think Okay, so. perfect. These aren't the name. No, no. Walker and Baker are the names of like guests. Those aren't oh. the names of servants because it says like I expect all my yeah, rooms to be yeah, clean. Yeah, you're right. Literally. I mean, I think. Okay. Okay. Unless they are like it. manager s servants. Mm, I think your David Gorn jobs requires that he may arrive. No, these might these might be servant names. Okay. Yes. Let's go with so Mr. Walker, Brian Walker. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, who else would it be? Mm hmm And then... Go back to the schedule thing again. It's... What was it? Baker Oh, wait, who has Smith. a newspaper? Neither. Maybe in their right. room they have a newspaper. Lucia. Well, wait. Mrs. Richards. Ms. <laughs> no. Oh, wait. Click what? boar, can you? Uh, it's already been. Roasted boar? Oh, damn. I... Hopefully we just have everything we need then. Yeah. Um, that's... <laughs> Lord. So I think the one who's not sweeping is... Smith and the other is Baker. Mm, we're uh -huh, close. Okay. okay. Yeah, switch those, see if that's ah. closer. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Then maybe. Hmm. Maybe it's not George Bridges, but different a different Bridges name. Could you go back upstairs? To the letter that was signed Bridges. Maybe that has a clue. Peter Batley. George Bridges. Is that what I said? Okay. So that, that solves that at least. Mm. Mary Richards. We know Edmund Clasley, Peter Batley, Rose Cubert. Dude, if I was a servant and I had one piece of anti nobility stuff in my mm -hmm. room, I would expect to be tarred and feathered and then burned at the stake. I mean, true. You gotta have that stuff encoded. Absolutely. You broke. You broke the the butler's vow. Exactly. The most sacred. Mm hmm. So, um, let's just leave Bridges, I guess. But it is George. How do you know? Because it said George on the note. What? Oh, yeah, you're right. Take care of those. Uh... Oh yeah, I'm but nice. it, it is, it's I'm like, well. it's cringe to have mm -hmm. class consciousness. That's why you would get in yeah, trouble. Literally. For posting Oh cringe. my god. So this is... On main? Yeah, on main. <laughs> <laughs> this is some, like, okay. voodoo stuff. Mm -hmm. Once your target has ingested the love potion... Interesting. Wait, oh. Wait, 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 wait. So I guess... See, the love potion thing makes me think that it's like... 
either Peter or Mrs. Richards because it has to do with like trying to get someone to fall in love. Mm -hmm. But then in the cupboard, it's like it makes it sound like it's a staff member. So I guess it's not. Right. I mean, this is hard. Yeah, let's see Good what else game. we can find. This is why I always sign my diaries with my first and last name. <laughs> yeah. And my motives. Exactly. And a picture. Um. Go click on Newt Gingrich again. Oh, wait. Who's the guy with the fork? Go back up there. That's Peter. Oh. His side profile looked weird as all. Well. Yeah. He's really animated. I mean. Oh, yeah. We have a little syringe mm -hmm. in the pot. Mary. Her name is Mary. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. We got that already. <laughs> Edmund Cloudsley. Wow, she so she has two notes from two simps that are related. Literally, I mean, a dream or a nightmare. <laughs> so the person who has a cigar we know is not Edmund. At least yeah. we can rule him yes. out of it. True. Yes. Yes. Good point. Okay. Click on Little Pip. David, David is the name of... Oh! Okay, take, make it Brian Walker. Or David Walker, yeah. Oh. What the heck? So it was... Well, then Brian who's Walker. David? Literally. David Bridges? No. We know Edmund Cloudsley, we know Rose Kubert, Mary Richards, Lucia. This is crazy. Um, it must be, I think it's probably one of the servants, like the woman servants. Uh, good question. Let me see That is their the names. murderer? Yeah. No, I mean, that's what's messing it up. Hmm. Whatever. Go back. Go work in the kitchen, maybe? So, is that where little Pip sleeps? Hmm. Oh, yes, that's where yeah. Monkey Man came from, at least. Maybe. But, like, what here makes you think it's Little Pip? Because he's just a little guy that Beardy would Monkey live in, in the crawl space. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I buy it. Oh, yeah, we got some um, stuff in here. Bread, nice. lemon, potato, flour, water, fish. Unrefrigerated meat. Yeah. A big piece of meat. Big hunk of meat. Um, Click on the sweeper. For your room, Lucia. So oh, the other one is Lucia. And we know that Lucia has been reading a novel. Uh, yeah. A saucy novel, which she should also be right. for. Mm. And especially, I will say, okay. in Downton Abbey, the fact that they um, all sleep in like the same big room with bells above their head, to read saucy novels in that situation is a risk. Oh, yeah, that's true. So you know about the bells, huh? Oh yes, the fancy ones. So this... they did a bit. Oh, sorry. Go for what? it. What? Oh, I was gonna go on another tangent. I'm trying to do less of just remembering pieces of media as if that is a conversation. I'm always very guilty of that, but um, they did a bit about that on Bob's Burgers where it was like a a larping, and you drew out of like a like a bag like oh which character are you going to be from Downton Abbey and Bob uh, and Linda got servant and so they had the bells above their head I see that's yes. funny 
Thank you. <laughs> All right, write down that this room is Lucia. Oops. Second to last. Oops. Oh God. Oh, delete all data. <laughs> We don't know her last name, really. Um, well, I think it... Try Smith and Baker again. Or switching, yeah. Pizza Hut emailed me to say, how was your order? Well? Um, it wasn't good, but I... It's, like, uh, never good, but I keep buying it. Well, so, was five it the stars. Crust? No. Yes. Ugh, gotta get gotta get with it. <laughs> Damn. Maybe switch Brian Walker and George Bridges. No, that wouldn't make no. sense because that would. Let's leave it alone for right now. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. Um, we need to change Little Pip's name to Pip Little or something. <laughs> Stuart Little. Right. Um, okay, you can at least focus on the table, how about? What about it? So the, or like figuring who sat that where, maybe. <laughs> I know. I'm just like being really unhelpful. You're fine. No worries. So we know so Cigar, is, this place is not Edmund. Right. We're thinking that that would be. Maybe it's uh, Peter. Maybe. Salad. Yeah, because Peter is probably in this or this, right? Because he wanted to sit next to... Oh, no, wait. This is... What's her name? That Rose. Rose. So wherever Miss Richards is, let's see what her right. preferences are. Because I think there's something about what everybody wants to eat. Oh, yes. Cool. Perfect. Was that in here? Oh, wait. That was it. No. Okay. Miss Richards oh. doesn't eat meat. So she only got a salad. Right. Oh, God. I keep clicking on the wrong stuff. <laughs> So she could be one. She's probably one of these. Right. She would never get a cigar. No. I I would say she's probably the white wine, maybe. Well, whoever got this one. Say what? Here's here's my guess. Okay. This is Rose. Yes. <laughs> uh. This is, I think this is Peter. Peter Batley. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put that down for now. Yeah, let's go uh. for it. Oh my god. So many names. Yeah. Here we go. So, no, that wouldn't make sense because he wouldn't be close to the salad. So right. I think to I be imagine... next to her, he'd have to be here. Yeah. Or here. That's... I think put put <laughs> Peter at the top left corner with the steak and red wine and brandy. Because I think the head of the table would be Edmund Cloudsley. Yeah. And you know, like, I do get the sense that the person that owns the house also needs the peptic stuff. Yes, that, that makes sense. So we'll put, so, what's her name? Mary Richards. And then and George, George, George Bridges. Ah. Close. Okay. Okay. Switch, maybe, Peter and George? Because I have this idea that no, somebody No, because remember, they have to... Peter has to be by the salad. 
Why? Because he's sitting oh, next because, to the lady. Yes. Okay. Oh, so maybe switch. Maybe Edmund, Edmund and... and Peter. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Damn. Okay. I mean, could like, you? This could be Mary. Yeah, I'd try that, and, and then... then put Peter up there yeah. on the right. Yeah. All right. Wait. Damn. Okay. Go back to putting Edmund at the head of the table. Wait, let me try this one. Okay. Go. George. Well, actually, we don't even know if that's his name. That's or wait, we name. do. <laughs> we do know it's his oh. name. Yeah, we're making it worse. Okay. Put Oops. Mary Richards at the white wine. The, the lemonade, actually. Okay. White wine lemonade. Oh my god. Um, put Edmund at the right with the gray and the salad. And then I my theory is that somebody switched when they weren't supposed to. So put Peter Batley on the bottom with the cigar, yeah. And then the other guy, George, George Bridges. Yes. That's crazy. Yeah, no. Ugh. I think, I really think that Peter has to be by Mary. Right, but that Mary is... That's the question. She has to be one of these. Right. Is that steak? Let me see something. It's a... hmm. Fork. Peter. Uh, uh. I wonder if we're supposed to be keeping track of like who has what key. I don't. That will be awful if that is the case. Yeah. Wait. Click back on that card. Remember to take the fourth one of it. Oh, that's the code. Shit. I think. This music is so stressful. I'm screaming. Ada. I have to use this letter to share good news. What if she isn't Ada? What if she is a different name? Like, I, my theory is she's sending that letter to somebody as a... Oh, wait, I found the last clue. Where? On the right in the vines up top. Whoa, I never would have seen that. Wow. Bag. Good eye. Interesting. So two of the Literally, same key. Though. They must be keys to like wherever the opium is. Wait. Right. So we know Damn. this is... This does change things. Where is the opium again? It's like in here? Right. Yeah. Blue key. Hmm. I wonder like who has a key to that? He does. Right. So they were framing him probably to be like, oh, it's I, in your safe. Right. True. And he has a key That's as true. well. Right. So like so if he did it. Be able to copy it maybe. Right. It's also like, yeah, it makes mm -hmm. sense that I guess he would have it since he's the head butler. Right. And the people that used the keys mm -hmm. and hid them would probably be them. Truly. That's maybe? Lucia. That's Ada. Does Pip have a real name, maybe, that we're supposed to be giving him? No. Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> and then there's a syringe. Um, I'm just, like, running through really quick. 
honestly. Mary. The cigar we know. Wait, how do we know? Thing. Man, I wish our one friend who was here before would hop in. <laughs> I mean. All right, let's see. Maybe let's we need try, to. You try a hint, maybe. No. Okay. I think we try to straighten out who's who. Okay. We know that that is a little pit. We know that's Mary Richards, Rose Kubert, and Edmund Clausley and Peter Batley from the other one. Yeah. Are we sure that it's Mary Richards? Yes. Great question, actually. This is Miss Richards. Mm -hmm. And the picture of him flexing was said, Dear Mary. Oh, okay. So we are we are sure. I'm pretty sure. If you could double check that real quick. Okay. I think that's right, though. Okay. Yeah. Yes. For your diary. <laughs> uh, we know... This is... First, I can be using candles for your room, Lucia. Yeah, I mean, I do think that's Ada. Okay. Her, I mean. Yes. And Lucia is her, because she says it. Yeah. Talk uh, to... Talk to Lucia again real quick. Brian served everything. So his name is Brian, the servant. Brian what? I, I think Walker. I don't remember Walker. Yeah, where did oh, wait, we get go Walker? Go back to the left, the little above the cow. Mr. Walker. Okay. I am to be woken up. Okay. Yeah, doesn't... Does he have a note oh, on him? Oh! Says... It said no heavy food for dinner for Edmund. So I think, yeah, he's still at the head of the table. Uh, what? Um, his thing said no heavy food for dinner. So he's eating a salad only at the head of the table. So I'm I believe that is still Edmund at the head of the table. Wait, this is no heavy food for dinner is for Mrs. Smith. Well, that's the instructions. Like, you're gonna make me two eggs. You are responsible for little Pip doing all his errands. Oh. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. So, let's put him here. Yes. But, I mean, that would make this Peter. And then... Oh, wait. Peter oh, wait. Batley's there twice. This is George. Bridges. What? Is there something with his name, maybe? Maybe there isn't a George Bridges. Maybe that's his, like, dad or some bullshit. Yeah, we don't know if that's him. I think he's Richards, because he's. I think he's probably the daughter of this guy. Oh! I think. Interesting. Try... Richards, maybe David? Do we have a David yet? Yeah. Or no? I mean, we have the name David. Oh, yes. Okay. So, Brian Walker, Lucia Smith, was it? I don't know. And then Ada Baker. 
Okay. <laughs> Switch Baker and Smith real quick. No, come on. <laughs> okay. Do you know his name is Brian for sure? Yeah, he said Brian will serve everything in order. Okay. So, Mr. Walker. <laughs> this is hard. I know. <sighs> and honestly, the, the hints last time weren't helpful, so... I think this one, I think the top one is Ada's room because she said she was going to bring Lucia some candles. Right. I can see that. Interesting that the one who's worked there the longest is gets the bottom. Yeah, I don't room. know. Oh, yeah, let's put little Pip here. Right. Little bit. Um, in a, oh, 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 bag. Check it out. Oh, literally. Let's I think, try. I think this, you know what? Here's what mm. I think. This should be wanted what? Edmund Cloudsley dead because Edmund mm -hmm. also had a tonic at his place. Yeah. So he had opium in his, but he hadn't drank it mm -hmm. yet. Right. I like that. Who wanted him dead? I would say Peter, probably. He's the one who's in debt. I don't think it was Peter, though. Because he was getting threats. He he got a note from Peter that was like, I'm going to try and pursue her. Can I have money? But he got threats from the uh, from underground the movement, mm -hmm. from the cult. I mean, I think someone from either of those. I'm going to let my cat out of the room real quick. Okay. Okay. So. Would it be... I think Brian Walker probably... I mean, if that's his name, we're pretty sure it's his name, right? Right. Let's say Brian Walker wanted... I don't think he wanted. I think he poisoned. Okay, so maybe... Try George Bridges. I don't know about that. Damn. The what's the uh, the final Vanguard? I oh the, yeah maybe. Uh, mm. The Monkey Man Dark Hand. Oh my god! Yes, has come alive. What's the name of the cult? I guess it's not in here. Mm, yeah, it's like the Brotherhood of whatever. Yeah. Go back to the coats, maybe? We think the guy with the wig is... the guy with the cigar, correct? Not necessarily. Okay. Hey, CK Vice. Hey, just in time. <laughs> Thanks for, for being here. You heard our pleas. Right into the ether. Um, I want to. <sighs> Shit. <sighs> like, where would we find stuff about him? The Lord with the Honestly. wig. Right. Ada got a letter like that. Miss Richards. Mm -hmm. 
there's it's like there's so much stuff to look through right oh wait go yeah miss nb (laughs) non-binary Ooh. Is there even an... uh they were just playing grim fandango i haven't actually played that Ooh. but it seems like fun honestly i definitely it's a bit it's on my list for sure it's point and click too right i believe right i think so gotcha yeah it's like the 3d one with the skeletons mm-hmm. noir style i like the noir mm-hmm. vibes it looks like a fun aesthetic nice okay so this was from edmund Cloudsley. Yes. We already established that, I guess. Mm hmm. Okay, so last name Baker goes to the sweeper, who is Ada. Wait, how do you get that from this? Because he says, Mrs. Baker, I want my room swept twice. That's a little bit of a stretch. But okay. The, the the one sweeping would be the one it's directed to. <laughs> the one that always cleans. Yeah, that true. She may not always do it. I mean, I think we tried Baker. Right, but still the mystery guy. We need to. Like the, yeah, it's like that's the guy. But I'm trying to think of like where stuff would be about him. Honestly. Uh, maybe let's go back to the scene. So he's only got money on him. Hmm. What did the, oh wait, go back to the butler's note. From Peter. Insure, okay, he only cares about the beautiful lady. Yeah. What's the, that says note to self about the rich. The donkey. The donkey. Eh. Oh. Donkey. Okay, let's, yeah, I want to review like all the notes. Honestly. So this was about wanting to send Peter away to the colonies. Mm Mm-hmm. Dude, her father's name is Lothar. Oh, my God. I can't believe Lothar was not on the tip of our tongue. (laughs) Truly. I kept (laughs) looking at that at the side. I'm like, where the fuck did that come from? You know what? He strikes me as a Lothar. Uh, Literally. Richards. God yo, damn yeah, it, yeah, we yo. are on a roll. Okay, so Peter Batley's there. Lothar is the one with the cigar. It rhymes. Wait, say it again? Oh, it rhymes with cigar? At the table. Yes. Hey! Wow, that oh feels God. good. True, the linchpin <laughs> of it all. Mm. He does look like composer, TBH. Brian Walker. Would this be Edmund? Maybe. Or maybe lower... Lower Ada and put Edmund at the top, maybe? Because, as we know... Oh, yeah, I guess one of them... That's where the nobility belong. Yeah, closer to heaven. Mm-hmm. Yes. No, 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 no. Yeah, we need to review these. That has to be Little Pip, though. Yeah. This has... Oh, yeah, the... Okay, wait. The wrong one I have. That's loose, yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Let me make sure. Ada. Below. Oh, wait! No, that's David Gorin. He's not here today. Oh, good call. Dang. Oh, my God. You get a certified Sherlock one for that. You Thank get a you stamp so on your yes. on your report card. What's his name? <laughs> I can't even get it right. George David. Gorin. <laughs> George. Oh, uh... my God. No, please. <laughs> David, I'm begging. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then Edmund. Ada Baker. Oh, Ada. Yes. Yeah, Edmund wouldn't live in a little 
Mm -hmm. like that. Yo, yo, oh yo! My God. Okay, we are so good. I'm glad you're here to see this, CK Base. I mean, we were floundering, and your president. <laughs> yeah. Just. Okay. Truly. So. Okay. Wanted Edmund Cloudsley dead because he knew he would have a tonic drink. We don't know if this was Brian. We don't know if Brian actually poisoned. Okay. I think it is. Try Brian. And Peter Batley. We did that at one point, right? I think. Yeah, I don't think it's Peter. Ugh, that, that mega wrong, which is crazy. Let's. Edmund well, Cloudsley wait. wanted Edmund Cloudsley dead, and he wanted to die in front of everybody. <laughs> yeah. Maybe read the letter from George Bridges. That we'll never see, I guess. Rose. Oh yes, we are. I'm Tim, and this is Rachel. For names, at least. Yes, I. I need to. I used to have our names and pronouns up here, but I haven't been doing it. I but gotcha. I'm the old NB. I gotcha. And you say them. Uh, mm -hmm. Tim. I'm I'm Tim. I am he him. I also go by the the name Zoe Trope for whenever I do drag in quotes because it's very you know very um casual rare yeah casual slash rare but you know. Uh, why did this you want to look at where I debut? Why did you want to look at George Bridges? I want to see if he maybe wanted to kill him. You seem pretty pleased after the old boy passed away. Yeah. Take care of those with whom you ally. I have many friends and will deal swiftly with you if you dare cross me. I think George I thought Bridges we tried him, though. Him. Oh, wait. Did we try him? George. Mm -hmm. Damn. Okay. I mean, it could be Brian. You know, Brian might... Right. We don't have solid... Because here's the thing. Brian already has a mm -hmm. key. Yes, he has true. that key, and it's like we know that someone mm -hmm. used it and then hit it. Honestly, maybe could you try Ada Baker? Sure. I have. I wonder. Oh yeah, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. wait a second. Final Vanguard. Wait, because there okay, is but Ada a... Baker is right then, so. Oh. Okay, so this is the that old guy. Yes. And then this is the coachman. Mm hmm This is Lucia. Who also Lucia has like love potion stuff. Dang, I thought there was someone else that had like anti nobility stuff, but I guess it's just right, truly this guy. Ooh, that is a good thing about every fourth word and everything. Maybe whomever had that. Oh, letter. that's right. Wait. Mm -hmm. One. Two, three. I use two. One, two, oh, wait. three, four. What? Go back to whatever the code was, like how it. It said. was I every. Don't remember. I, like I think every line. Oh, the fourth one from every it, row. I thought it was every fourth word. <laughs> right. Okay, that's very helpful. I use substance to remove target sincerely dark hand steward boom boom <laughs> dark hand steward yeah 
What if it was like the what I thought was it was the first word in every four rows? And I was like, wait, oh I has. Is this going to be I has a cheeseburger? Cheeseburger? God damn it. <laughs> okay, tell me again what you read. So, <laughs> use substance to remove target. Sincerely, Dark Hand Steward. So, Dark Hand Steward wanted Ada to kill Edmund. But, did it wrong. Dark hand steward. Yo! I'm oh my god. So Hell, impressed. Yes. Dude, you've been carrying this on your oh, back. You're fine. No worries. As soon as once you realize that guy was Lothar. <laughs> Goddamn. Know. Okay, Ada Baker received encoded instructions from Dark Hand Steward to poison Edmund Cloudley. She used her ability to freely move about the rooms while cleaning and made a copy of the key to the medicine cabinet. She used a syringe to poison a sealed peptic tonic bottle. However, during the party, Rose asked for the tonic and drank it first. Damn. This is such a good game. I know. Yeah, I want to explore and read everything again. <laughs> um, That's very satisfying. And it's sad because it makes you think that Poor old, you know, Ryan Walker. We fell for it, truly. Now that's a red herring. All right. <laughs> you need to stop saying red herring. Or... This one, I used it right. If you're an fair. expert, if you're going to be an expert detective, that can be your noir name. Oh, good, yes. You can be Detective Herring. Oh, my God. Yes, we, we have been enjoying it, uh, CK. It's, it's like... Um, mm -hmm. It makes me aware of how much my brain doesn't work and how I need to remind myself how to learn. I mean, God. I'm so bad at just, and, like, reading something all the way. <laughs> and truly, like, it's so frustrating at times, but that makes it more so much more enjoyable yeah. when you solve it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got, um, looks like a little cupcake. Confectionery. It does look good. Cupcake. A hattery. Hats. That's fun. King hat. Matt is a hatter. <laughs> Billy Cracker. <laughs> That's my... Um... Dude, yeah. Tag yourself. Hardy Abe. Henchman for hire. Interesting. Oh, damn. Brawlers. Burglars picklocks. Yeah, these are cool guys. So this mm -hmm. is that... Uh... This is the company that the coachman works for that does all the shady trading. Gotcha. And, uh, okay. What's the word for it? Um, smuggles and stuff. Mm hmm. Like, yeah. I gotcha. Whoa. Oh, fuck. Oh, a job is going horribly wrong, it seems. You're, check the chat, Tim. Seen the hats. Yes, exactly. True. Whoa. I'll be cool. I'll wear a with some of those feathered caps <laughs> next uh stream. Look. Scarecrow. <gasps> the coachman. <gasps> Oof. Uh, the man is breathing but appears yeah. Okay, so it wasn't shot, he was just bonked. Yeah. That's okay. Mm hmm One of the old workhouse geezers croaked yesterday. I will arrange for a cart to move the corpse if you send me directions mm -hmm. and be quick gun key shillings okay here's cloudsley i don't care what means you use to to acquire what i need but remember to be discreet as always note that i do not want it to to decay oh he's asking for a body i think interesting is he trying to resurrect them or something maybe he's doing Spontaneous combustion experiments. Oh, yeah. Was he the honestly. guy that wrote about it? No, but I mean, he's within... I bet he's part of the... Um, well, they're also part of the a cult. cult. Yeah, yeah. True. By the uh, gods. By God, but what's that? Dude, this is uh, Lu Lucia. Oh, okay. She looks nice. exactly the same. It does, though. Strikes in Westbrook. 
Uh, this guy looks like the gentleman robber. I mean, yeah, tuxedo mask. Oh my god, yes. Okay, held up a coach. Walter T. He even kissed a young lady. What a jerk. I mean, a hundred pounds, which is a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> Go, Go coin. coin. Oh, he named his dog Coin. Oh my god. That's funny. Yes. Wow. You're not allowed to travel. Lord. Okay, David Gorin. Okay, David Gorin. Lucia. Oh, you were right. So that's good. Yeah. Oh, great. She was literally a poison taster. Oh my god. Little Pip. Black Bestia and good Golden Dibloon. Oh wait, yeah, That's I gotta click dog. little real quick. I did. Oh, oh, it was earlier that we got it. I gotcha. Um oh and Edmund Cloudsley. Sorry. Yeah. But did you notice the dog's name is Golden Doubloon? He called it coin. Yes. That is cute. So this is <laughs> ah! Right. Candy. <gasps> ring ring the ruby. <laughs> and a what Let is it called? In. The ring pop. Oh, the signet? Oh, yes, I get it. Holy shit! Well, I'm saying ring pop because he had a candy. That's fair. No! Oh! oh my god. Wow, this guy really stepped in it. Yeah. Hmm. What's that? So they bro He Explosive? broke in. Yeah. Or something. I guess they did the spell wrong. Oh my god. Type the <gasps> damn booby trap the idol. I like it. Ooh, CK said we've seen that man before. I wonder if that was about um this man. Or I think Gorin probably. Well, I think we already knew that. Oh, I gotcha. Now I get what you're saying. Oh shit, <laughs> Edmund. Is that Edmund? Yeah, he's hiding in his and those little. Those are the spells, Jesus. Damn. Oh, he did a fucking spell on him. Nice. Vacuum. The spell did not work. That's awesome. Pee pee. Wait, do you want to read about each one? No. Okay, wait. But Vacuum. I appreciate it. Wait, we should see. Okay. Ah, shit. So I guess. Wait, before it wasn't we. A... Okay. Before we look at these, it's like these are. The symbols. Cane, right. cane, two squares. Squares and blank. Uh. Okay, so vacuum number two. With this input, definite improvement. Decrease the amount of air, but curiosity. Oh, sorry. Oh, you want to keep reading? Curiously. Sorry, yeah. Soul did not create a complete vacuum and sealed vessel. You don't say. <laughs> Some gold, seawater. Oh my god. That is a spell I want. To say yeah, least. I wouldn't mind that. Mm -hmm. Turn the ocean into gold. Unknown um, effect 14. Whoa, what is this? SCP? Oh my god. Okay, I must ask David to fetch me a dead body. More oh. advanced organic matter. Vitality is urgent. Interesting. That's gross. Yeah, so he was trying to live forever or something? Maybe. I could see that. Or become an alien. Right. Freezing. Heat. All right. All the clues. Easy. Now, what the heck is uh, going on? Look, it, this is spontaneous combustion. Oh, gotcha. Oh, so there is... There's a cane with a dot and a cane with no dot, I guess. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Now we gotta learn this whole language. Right. Whoa. Cubes. I'm pulling the... Right? <laughs> you can only perform the, the eyes red, wild. They are going to uh... do cube on um, Too Scary Didn't Watch, which I'm very excited really? for. Really? Yes. Is it that scary? 
I kind of it, this it was like community votes on like um like suggestions and stuff and I didn't recognize any of the other ones but they do some action some thriller and stuff oh I see so it's not really like yeah scary scary Greggy wants to become yeah, an exactly. alien and I have to say I wouldn't mind it mm, truly I want to be a cone point, head. like oh my god that is fair then you can eat anything you want <laughs> The Coneheads have swag, and I'm not afraid to say it. True. You should be, but I'm glad you're not. <laughs> Alright, look at this guy. Andrew WK! Oh my god. He's partying. Finally the target. Meet us on November 10th. Timberbrook Inn. Friday. Uh, One of the ragamuffins in that note, I guess. Right. Check the... Um, oh wait, there's still some bits. We got them all. Okay. Oh wait, he's hand for some reason. Uh, floating up top. Look at this. So does that mean the he knocked down the door or the the vacuum is so powerful? I think, think that, that bust... you know how this has like a weight? Mm-hmm. I think they they sprung a trap. And the vacuum was so powerful it busted the door open, I too. I think. Maybe, I yeah. like that. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, ah. Jesus. Uh, Alright, let's okay. start what we know. Yes. Uh, we'll hip. <laughs> That's the first thing we always know. <laughs> we start at... Uh, welcome back, CK. We start, right. we always start, at, start at Little Pip and build the case out from him. He's our North True Star. Mm. And then we know this is Golden the Boyne. True. Edmund Cloudsley. Yep. Without his wig, he's looking like a friggin' fool. I don't think, yeah, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> um, Lucia smith yeah and now it gets difficult oh david goren got busted on the head all right let well, the first thing i think we do is go look at this note in here yeah check oh <laughs> brawler robber as a cart so i think one of these guys is hardy abe hardy abe Right. Oh, the guy falling is little Billy. Why? Because he enters through the chimneys. I think he's falling into it. And he's a clubber. So. Oh, this guy? Yes. Hmm. So some kind of brawler, I guess. I mean, there's I think like that's little. there's like no indication that there's a chimney above us, but okay. Yeah. The club thing is maybe enough. Right, Billy it's Cracker. Billy right. Cracker. Mm -hmm. This guy. And then WK Walter Keen, but, but he's not in here right now. So this is that from... that'll. Mm -hmm. So he will probably be on the left side of the thinking page, I'm guessing. Billy I think he's I think he's Jack Nails. Oh wait. This is Jack Little Nails. Billy and Billy Cracker are two different people, apparently. What do you mean? Oh. So sorry. That's so upsetting to me. Two Billies. That's so <laughs> fucked up. You want to try a little for him? Uh, uh, what? You want to try little Billy for him then? E wait, go back to the room. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Pick lock, workhouse has a cart. Wait, I think I he's think Hardy Abe. Hardy, that's Hardy Abe and 
Jack Nails, is I Jack think, Nails. is le- Oh, it is? Yeah, because the letter to him says, come to Timberbrook and bring your tools. And he's a, he's a pick lock. Oh, okay. Fair. Yeah, I'm taking this one. Fair. And then the masked guy is maybe Billy Cracker? Or... Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> God damn it. Well... So, yeah, Walter Keen... <laughs> mm-hmm. I think was from here. Oh, really? Oh, no. I don't know where he's from then. Where did I get oh, that? Oh, no. I think that was just in in that one. But that was uh, that was impressive to do it. <laughs> I guess no there was no chimney after all. There were so many only so many people he could be. Right. Okay, so do we know Walter Keane then? I guess I think he's maybe some kind of high up in like burglary but not part of a cult, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. You want to do the symbols? Uh, yes. Oh, so it'll be things like gold. Okay, go, yes, go to the notes. So, both air. So, cane with a dot is air. Okay. Okay. So this the two squares means decrease. I think so. Oh lord. Get gold. <laughs> okay, so... Okay, the hourglass we know is gold, at least. Maybe. Matter. Um... I think... Wait, I think the triangle thing is heat. I like that. Oh, is this matter? I think... I think that's matter. Um... Make... Okay, I want to change... Wait, put that back. Are you sure? Yes. Or is this increase? Not really. No. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. I I think the canes are either increase or ding decrease. <laughs> Go back to gold filter. I think. Oh. I think cane with a dot is decrease and cane with no dot is increase maybe but then what is the squares damn Try, could you flip them maybe we're not being very oh well there we go okay so so i think maybe this one's matter those maybe okay and then something Try water. Damn, okay, go. Could you go to the one about the like combustion, maybe? Vacuum removed. Decrease matter. Decrease. Oh, okay, I think. Two squares is air. And then... 
I think circle we need to figure out. Maybe matter. Boom. Okay. Boom. Okay. Less impressive as getting all the names <laughs> right. I know. On the first time, but still. All right. This one's a lot. Right. The okay. The last blue one is exploded. I think. The. Yeah. A. Nice. <laughs> now that's my kind of humor. <laughs> blank needed a blank. So Jack Keen Corpse. needed a. Yes. Would it be Jack Keen though? You mean Walter Keen? Maybe. Maybe Where'd Walter you get Jack? Keen. What name are you getting that from? I guess from Jack Nails and Walter Keen. Along with accomplices. I think. Wait, who needed a. I mean, Edmund needed a corpse. Right. So he had David Gorn. Yeah. Edmund had David get a corpse. David Gorin. So, Gorin. Delivered a coffin. Yes. Maybe they betrayed Upon Edmund? I like that. Upon entering, suddenly... <laughs> Clubbed. The amount... David. Club. Right. Dude, yeah. It would have been... Of David, Yes. And the party yes, it would Abe. be um party Abe, yes. Meanwhile, Jack Nails. Mm hmm. The amount of blankness. I think. Shot. Decrease. Best people. I think it. Right, but I think it's decreased the amount of air in a sealed. Vase. Would that be no? <laughs> Heat, because he shot it. Well, no, I think I think the thing is the vacuum. So yeah, but what else air. would it be? Air? air? Yeah. Stab. Wait, explode. No, I think I think decreased. Damn. Okay, go back that to make the. Sense. Well, I don't think I don't know if it's vase though is the thing, but what else would it be? Mm. <laughs> Stop oh, check, the check. Of <laughs> this is the <laughs> level mean, we're working at. Right, check the idol. Wait, saw. He has a saw and a gun. That, <laughs> true, <laughs> but check the idol real quick, <laughs> please. Um. Okay, so that is. Is it? Could you also go back yeah. to the spell book, please? Um, I think it's the vacuum too, right? No. No. Maybe. I think it's the closest we have. I think it's vacuum too. Because it's blue. Okay, yeah. Definitely... Blue would mean that. It's definitely pretty <sighs> Yeah, decrease the amount of air, so I'm still sticking with that. In a sealed... Would it be vase still? Yeah. What does that mean? Edmund needed a corpse. David, along with accomplices, delivered a coffin. Upon entering, Party Abe suddenly clubbed David Gorin. Yeah. Meanwhile, Jack Nails... Exploded... Right. No, it must be increase or decrease. This otherwise it wouldn't make sense. Right. <laughs> um this exploded I, I do like for the last one though. 
This explosion. Yeah. And it's sealed. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> Could you make... Wall three. Keen. Shot. I... Wait. Go try with your... <laughs> oh, my God. We're alchemists. Okay. Could you try... Um, Edmund... Meanwhile, Edmund Cloudsley... Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was the one to do it. Increased. Decreased the amount of air in a sealed coffin. Because he's waiting in a coffin, I think. Huh? Oh, increased? What? No, it's the vase. The vase exploded. Maybe I don't know what a vacuum is. All right, Ralphine. We me. we are very not scientific here. <laughs> I don't, May, also, I this is magic. Of, this is magic. Have you heard of explosive decompression? <laughs> I I, we just finished Star Trek. <laughs> All right. Okay. Wait. I think I feel more vase. pressure now that I know people are watching. Right. <laughs> Go put no air. <laughs> it's on vacuum. It is for sure air, I wanna say. Okay, so I change sealed well it is in a sealed vase. Mm. Was it just was it not Edmund? Mm. It does seem like a trap that he set. I say put make it Edmund and then Edmund Clasley needed did, a corpse. David did Gorin. he do we definitely know if David Gorin was hit in the head? Yeah. My man's got a whole ass look. Well, man is breathing. Look at his so it wouldn't be a gunshot wound. No. Maybe could you do... I think... Upon entering, could you please make... Uh, instead of clubbed David Gorin, could you make it stabbed? And could you say that... The mask... Tuxedo Mask did it. I forget his name. What? I don't think so. He stabbed him in the head? Stranger things have happened in this game. I don't think that. I think you're focusing on the wrong thing. Okay, maybe. Let's go through it again. Edmund Cladley needed a corpse. David yes. Gorin, along with accomplices, delivered a coffin mm -hmm. upon entering. Wait. Do we know? Yeah, they brought a coffin. With a scarecrow in it. Uh, upon entering, Hardy Abe suddenly clubbed David Gorin. Maybe maybe change it to Walter Keane clubbed. Maybe he no, he's had his sword and hit him with the, like... But he could hit it with the hilt of his sword, maybe. No. That okay. wouldn't be... That wouldn't be he clubbed him. Hmm. I think the problem is this part. Um, I do too. And it's sealed. Walter Keane? No. Okay, so that, it is Edmund Cloudsley at least. Who had accomplices? I thought, ooh. Gorin, right? I thought so, but maybe there's mm -hmm. a trick there. Walter Keane, maybe? Um, I don't know who Walter Keane is. Oh my god. 
I, I believe the meanwhile is Edmund. So two or fewer. That's okay, good. that helps. Um, increase the amount of air in this space. <laughs> Hmm, maybe. Could you go to thinking? Wait, he... CK uh, says, think about who had accomplices. So... Billy Cracker? Oh, try... Maybe it's Billy Cracker somehow. But he's not he, he's not in the scene, so never mind. Yeah, what made you think that it was? Yeah. Is it Walter Keane? Instead of Oh, maybe. Oh, oh my god. Really? Okay. Interesting. Okay. Oh it's yeah. Surprising. So no, that that makes sense because it's like they were planning a conspiracy against Nice. David. So the, it's like mm -hmm. they were accomplices. Okay. Yeah. That's like a logical the best. thing. I was thinking can say. about. <laughs> yeah, thank you. The things that we get tripped on tripped up on are very mm -hmm. weird sometimes. I mean, truly. Okay, so to gain like the decreasing of air causing an yeah. explosion. <laughs> to gain entrance to Edmund Cloudsley's secret force cabin, gentleman robber Walter Keane pretended to deliver a horse to Edmund for his experiments. Upon entering the cabin, the robbers ambushed the servants, and Edmund locked himself in his study. While the robbers were sawing through the lock, Edmund prepared a trap with the idol that killed David. That was some quick thinking on his part. Yeah, he probably knew it was going to happen. Right. Uh, That's true. Oh. Oh, my Yay. Thank God. you. And yes, it is very, it's a super fun game. Mm -hmm. So our corner of the bandits accidentally set off my master's laboratory. <sighs> what happened afterwards? I managed to fend the rest of them out. My... Oh, my oh, master got caught in the blast. He's faking his death. Interesting. Or maybe, maybe someone killed him. Uh, Who knows? Ooh, maybe, we don't really, yeah. I mean, don't take anything for granted. Absolutely. Okay. Well, well, welly, well, well. I oh mean, my oh god. Oh my god. Speaking of it, aliens. Literally. The strange practices of a secret society. Don't mind if I do. Oh, hey, have you played a game on VR called Moss? I have not. I've not heard of that. I think you'd really like it. This forest reminds me of it, but it's like a little mouse. Mm -hmm. And you're like a spirit oh, magic guide that she summons. And she'll kind of like look up at you to be like, I like that. Hello, can I get some guidance? And you like tell her where to go. But it's like, oh my God. It's like you sit mm -hmm. down to play and it's like the cute little forest and stuff looks like a bunch of little dioramas that that sounds cute uh yeah you should check it out whoa I mean... oh shit all right what do we got here got a little back tattoo mm -hmm. don't mind if i do uh, i oh whoa well, i think that might be a cult thing yeah i don't know what what makes me think that there oh I do hey think that. Oh my god, your girlfriend's playing Moss. I haven't gotten to the snake yet. To be honest, I it was I just got VR and so I've been kind of like sampling a little bit here and there, so I didn't 
get too far in it. Uh, I feel really precious with VR games because I think they they don't last as long as I want them to. So it's almost like I'll just play mm -hmm. a little bit and then just be like, okay, I have to like set it down and come back to it. But that's so funny. I know there's a Truly. second one. And I want to play that too. If you have any VR I'm suggestions. I'm telling you, I gotta tell you, Super Hot is pretty fun. Oh yeah, I know. That's like recommended a lot. I mean. All right, we got, ooh, we got more hat pictures. Interesting, okay. A clean new coat, pistol, and a sword. Do you want this to be the, the last one that we do for now? Yeah, sure. Okay. No worries. We can gather and then maybe if we if we get stuck, but we're on such a roll. Yeah, okay, Greggy likes Moss too. You have to play it too. Nice. Okay, okay. I gotcha. It's really cute. I played Subnautica before I got my oh, VR yeah. goggles. And I want to like do like in the command codes like despawn any scary fish. So I can just, you know, <laughs> have a fun, nice just swim chill. and everything. Literally. Yeah, I wish those... there was a level that, or like a, uh, what's it called? Just a version of playing mm -hmm. that was just. They're, they have it where you can't take damage, but they still, the Leviathans. Like, Ooh. let me tell you, just listen to the sound, the sounds on YouTube of them. And I, I hate it <gasps> oh so much. Oh my God. But it's very well done, at least. I'll say. Yeah, I want to play because Lemmy always plays and he, like when I've watched him, it seems really fun. Nice. Okay, the gathering will be on March. Wait, this is to David. Okay, from Andrew. Huh? Andrew WK, nailed it. Oh, I don't even know. Andrew, isn't that a the guy you referenced? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh, thank you. from WK. I thought you were saying yes. like David was someone from the Andrew WK universe, and it's like oh. I don't even know any of his songs. So like, if you're talking about oh my God. Yes. his lore, I don't know what any of it is. Like okay. Stan and <laughs> yeah. Okay, the gathering will be on March 14th. To follow our plan, we should be there at least two hours before midnight. The target will arrive in full costume. Grab rope and weapons. <laughs> And he sure has a lot of those. Okay, this is David Gorin. Gotcha. That's tied up right now? Um, Interesting. I don't know. Because he's a redhead. Yeah, I think maybe something... I don't mm -hmm. know. Maybe, maybe he robbed him or something? Oh, damn. Yeah, I was thinking that too. I mean, the letter's to who, David. Who do we know? Oh, Walter Keane. Pistol Whip and Horizon. I'm gonna write this down. I think I've seen Pistol Whip on some lists. I really wanna do like RPG stuff. Like if I could afford it, I would do Half-Life mm -hmm. Alex, but it's expensive. There's one, um... I've played a little of it. It's called Mask Maker. Mm. And it's kind of cool. If you watch a trailer, it's like, um, it's kind of like, how to describe, fantasy, but also, you know, stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know fantasy. I've heard of that before. Sweet. Oh, so... Dude outside is a dark hand initiate. He's got the tattoo. Yes. And he's saying, mm hmm. Oh my god. And he has a bunch of David Gorn stuff, but we don't think he's mm -hmm. David. Right. He's got this hat sitting oh. next to him. Interesting. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. And then a really nice coat. And really bad beer. Are those the words from Pirates of the Caribbean? And really bad rum. I mean. Really bad eggs. Oh, Lord. 
What's the song? I don't know what song. I know Yo Ho Ho. Yeah, that song. And it's a like the last. Rum. Yeah, that's the last thing that Jack Sparrow says in the first movie when he's like staring and he's like, and really bad eggs. And oh then the. My, it's been so long. <laughs> and then I the mean, credits go. In the beginning? Seriously, though, why is the rum gone? That's what I'm always saying. Oh yes. What if I was like, yo, check this out, and I had like a Jack Sparrow like head scarf with the braids. Oh lord, yes, yeah, truly. And then you do the coin thing. Yeah, I do the coin. All right, we gotta read. Masters. Masters. Yeah. <laughs> At the same time, I ventured on the orders mission to reclaim our fire-breathing relic and, with great resolve, punish the despicable enemy. I, with a few brave companions, fearlessly entered his hideout. Okay, so he's talking about the despicable enemy must be Ed Edmund. Edmund? Yeah. But the devil had prepared a treasure's trap. Thanks to my sturdy physique, I survived oh a blast, only to be assaulted by his lackey, David. Hmm. After an hour of fight, I received new, numerous deadly wounds. I discovered the enemy's dead body, slain by the trap of his own making, but no trace of the relic. I'm forced to go into hiding because the government's watchmen are tracking me. Once I've received, recovered from my deadly wounds, I will send you the next report from Walter Keane, who is the gentleman robber. Yes. So this is a bunch of shit. Truly. Illuminated Masters. Lazarus, Walter, Jeffrey. Okay, so this is about Walter Keane was trying to get Lazarus Hurst into the group, but he didn't, this guy Jeffrey didn't trust him. Okay. And he is saying that Walter kept the idol for himself. Mm hmm. Maybe the guy in the bushes is Lazarus. I can see that. And then this, is, yeah, he talks about Lazarus here. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So this is just his letter saying. Oh Lord. Um. Like I want my friend Lazarus to join. Oh, okay. This is the official. Yeah, in October, he's like. Let's join him. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And then we can see initiate tattoo right mm -hmm. here, which you said before. Appropriate to the house. I don't think we've seen the line or this neck yet. Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Whoa, I really like this guy. Griffin has spoken. Okay, the ring, yes. <laughs> Griffin McElroy? Oh my! How so? Um, the Griffin has spoken. Oh yes, okay. That's it. For some reason, I, I was thinking of Travis. <laughs> Travis is outside in the rope. No, oh, I mean, uh, some red wine. Jesus. The Griffin has spoken. Oh, okay, they killed this guy. Let us await the results from the chamber below. Oh my god. Griffin has spoken. Griffin has spoken. You got some poison. Holy shit. The ritual of dispute. Oh my god. Only stewards are... Okay, so I guess we can put together what they did here. Okay. Gotcha. Two cups on a stone altar. Wait. They contain some wine, but are almost empty. Mm -hmm. So it, well, it could be any of these. Wobble. Oh, interesting. So it's like a, a what is it, a trial by fire type thing, I'm guessing. Hmm. Then I'm going to accuser has challenged a defender okay so we know that anyone participating would have been barefoot so these two guys were okay gotcha um two scarecrow a goblin 
Well, yeah, but see the the two. There are only two barefoot people. Right. Put those grippers away. Am I right? <laughs> or at least touch them to each other's. <laughs> Fair. Yes. The Griffin demands a show. Oh my God. Substances depending on the severity of the accusation. Defender chooses first. Weird. Y'all are dumb for doing this. That's all I say. <laughs> yeah, y'all are a little weird for that one. Mm -hmm. It keeps oh, wait, there's some squabble and conflict. So, choir decorations, a grim reaper, the feeder of mouths. Oh my god, are we going to have to figure out the decorations? Oh. There's at least a Grim Reaper on the glass. That's something. Eh? Oh, this one. On the stained... Well, and the stained glass on the wall. Oh, yeah. But I guess that's not really a decoration. Okay, so, like, most of these have the Grim Reaper. Right, okay. The Keeper of Treasures in your soul. Never Tiring Teacher. Mirror of the Soul. Theater of the Mouths. Huh. Interesting. Uh, maybe in the other room they explain what. Right. But. <laughs> oh, okay. Per oh my god. <laughs> now, this is a party. This is how this always goes when there's a cult of nobility. Truly. There's some like weird. Mm hmm. And then these are the guys running the economy. <laughs> right. I have signaled to Griffin who I am. I accept my fate, whatever it may be. Yeah, this is like what the Bush, mm -hmm. like President Bush. Right, exactly. This is uh, Skull and Bones. I have signaled to Griffin who I am. I accept my fate, we'll whatever see, it may be. We'll see you later, CK. Thank you for joining us. See and you enjoy later. Enjoy your, yeah. Um... I'll have to give you a follow because I'd be curious to see that plane. Yeah. I want to see Super Meat Boy, too. Oh, yeah. That seems like something you would really like, Tim. I'm kind of exactly. surprised you I've been, it. Literally. I've been playing Hollow Knight, which is kind of, you know, I'm sure the purists wouldn't agree are similar, but I think they are. I believe you. Gotcha. Um, oh, but speaking of Grim Fandango and VR, I know there's point and click of Sam and Max. Interesting. What's Sam, in VR. Sam and Max? Uh, it's the like detective, the little rabbit, and the McGruff, the crime dog. Okay. But that was a point and click game series originally. Now they have a VR game. So maybe Grim Fandango VR could be in the future. Interesting. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would love to play that. Um, totally. I do really want to play Mist. In VR. Yes. Oh my god. I thought that would be a fun and one to do on the stream. I would love it if you have like one of the buttons has like a scroll you could like write your clues on and shit. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's get some VR writing. Right. All right. Will you write this down? Uh, yes. Number one, he carry house. Okay. He carry house. Number two, he have no mouth. He have no mouth. Number, Number three. Th three, fish on a chair. On stool. Mm -hmm. Whatever rhymes. Number four. Too warm, too cool. <laughs> Prepare to All receive right. what you have earned. Interesting. Okay, yeah. This guy... Oh. oh my god. He's about to get a ring, and he's going to become a steward of the whatevers. The lion. Yeah. I'm, um, I like that they can have two ceremonies at the same time. Me so too! <laughs> I mean, oh Jesus. Alright, I think we know a lot of these. Okay. I don't, but I trust you. <laughs> this is Lazarus, right? What's Lazarus' last name? Uh, uh, Hurst, I thought. 
but I guess not. Well, no, maybe this is Walter Keen because he's the guy that was like recommending, but it doesn't look like him. I think this is Walter mm. Keen. Oh, well, that's annoying if there's only two slots for it to be like, well, two or more could be incorrect. Oh, wait. Wait, maybe it's Initiate Lazarus. Oh, because look how it, it's like red and gray. The color change, honestly, I'm like, and then looking on the left, I'm like, ooh, that could be a lot of them. I think Lazarus must be... Um. Maybe not, we'll leave that out for now. Mm -hmm. Holy shit, this is going to be a lot. Truly, five whole things. We can at least figure out the ritual. Yeah. Okay. Squabble is can be defender and accuser. Accuser must deeply hate the defender by any initiative. Oh. I was going to go off the picture <laughs> guess, sensors, but none of those sound like the... I guess we got to figure out which masks go with which whatever. You think it's the masks? I think that picks which, like, house, which Hogwarts house you're in. Maybe. Oh, yeah, because these parts are like about mm -hmm. which Hogwarts house. Right. Okay, so we've got a kettle, a sword, and a cane. So the sword must be a dark hand. Write that down. Oh. How do you know these? See how... Well, it depends on which ritual it is. Right. Shit, never mind. We have to figure out what like, ritual... Maybe go back to the main hall or ma this room. So, water snake, lion, or dark hand? Proud beast. Oh, okay. I think. I think the. I'm just actually picking random masks to different things. Uh, yeah, um... I don't think we can do... I think we have to decide... Oh my god, we've got someone posing as blank. Oh Jesus Christ. He, along with okay. blank, ambush... Blank blank was challenged, I'm sure, to a ritual. We need to figure out what ritual. He, along with blank, ambush blank. Oh, okay. So that explains. See, what was bothering me was mm -hmm. why would Lazarus have a tattoo already? Oh, good point. So, so he's posing as yeah. whoever. Okay. Uh, try David Gorin, maybe. Him? Well, yeah. Oh, wait, no. well, maybe Jeffrey like Sinclair. Oh, wait. Okay, he's try initiate dark hand. Well, I think we need a name. Oh, well then I say that shouldn't be allowed to be great in my opinion. <laughs> hmm. With a blank, which had no poison, I bet. Word. And he's 
with a blank. Which signaled. No, it has to be orange. Not to be rude. What? But orange. <laughs> okay, what do you want me to say? Yellow? Mm. Oh, maybe like Mustard. an olive yellow. Mustard. Oh, yes, that's fair. Okay. With a cup or tankard. I would say tankard with a oh man with a let's skip blank 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 the other tankard mm -hmm. right and died meanwhile blank blank passed the ritual to become I think wait let's let's decide who this is What has he earned? So he's going to become a steward of beast, crab beast. Nice. Pass the. Oh yeah, let's figure evaluation out evaluation what... ritual. Maybe I don't know. What do they have down there? Oh, in the notes I have carrying a house, eating with no mouth. I don't think this. I don't think it's those. Try no. the other ones. Well, I, I don't think. You don't think those cor correspond? No. <sighs> We can figure who this is, I think. Okay, wait. Go to... I think... Check the cup page real quick. Sword must be born by a dark hand. Sword must be born by any initiate. Okay. Would you mind checking the other one? Well, I don't think it's a conflict one because nothing about a Grim Reaper. Okay. So, True. Ritual of scra Squabble. Scrabble. Mm hmm. Water Snake Master. Okay, I think white, white coats mean master. Is a scepter, like, a cane or a sword? I think the... The cane. I think, yes. So let's... I think water snake is the, like, goblin face, and I think white is master. Mm. Okay. then this is probably the dispute. Right, I think, if I'm correct, try the thinking tab. I think water snake would be goblin. Yeah, this will help a lot. Uh, yes. Water snake. Master is white. Right, I my guess is proud beast is the red. I don't know why. And then Dark Hand is Scarecrow, maybe. This is just me just saying what my brain <laughs> says. Yeah, wait. I mean, if we're going by this, only stewards or higher can be defender or accuser. So steward or higher okay, so... would be this like yellow color. Right, so then... Let's try steward? 
Right. And then initiate would be the guys in the red coat. Maybe. Some good music, let me tell you. I know. Uh, um, Let's do... Oh, I think... wait, I think Dark Hand here. Okay. Yar! Holy shit. Okay, thank God. Then that... Now we're cooking with grease. Nice. Absolute. All right, so now we got a lot. Absolutely. So we got a proud beast holding a sword. Mm-hmm. Uh, which doesn't really matter. Scepter must be... I think it is dispute, honestly. Yeah. I've got that in... So... All right. So then we just gotta plug in what we have on the one tab. Let's read the letters again. But wait, I mean, I think we can solve the... I can solve that. Now. Oh, like who is who? Yeah. You don't think they we need names? Oh, damn. You right. might be right. Uh, now it's complicated. I feel good though. Okay. We're we're, yes. we're moving at a good pace. Mm -hmm. Okay. Blah blah blah. So Walter Keane is already. He's not. Maybe he's a steward. Right, I could see that, yeah. He's you know, dealing having missions and he's he has henchmen. Yeah, but mm -hmm. this makes me think too Oh wait. What? You don't never mind. I misread it. Oh, okay. Blank blank was challenged to a ritual. Either this was Walter or Lazarus. Mm -hmm. Right. Because Lazarus is being admitted. Okay. Oh, wait. What if Jeffrey Sinclair is the... Accuser? Yes. Did it say... Illuminated Masters? Our darkened brother vouches for him. Okay, oh, so we know Jeffrey is a what, dark hand, right? So, so that can't be him. So it would be the uh, guy standing is Keen Jefferson Claire. Do you think? I think because and what I think it, that's Walter. I think that's Walter Keen on the ground. But but. On the left, blank blank was challenged to ritual. He, along with blank, ambushed. Mm -hmm. Like, they interrupted the ritual and, like, played a trick on someone. So, I don't think that Walter would be dead because him and Lazarus probably are impersonating mm -hmm. someone. Okay. This is what I think. The gray and the red is so upsetting. I know. And we think this is a dispute ritual. Right. Um, you could say at the bottom on left, uh, the yellow is the evaluation, admission ritual, Never mind. Or on the left, sorry. Oh, I, I guess I would work on both. Never mind. Sorry. Where? Where does where do you want me to put admission? Yeah, I think both the yellow on the left and right are our admission. Here? No, at the bottom. Oh, there. I yeah, get it. There and, and here. one, yes. I see. Okay. So then I would say, proud beast steward, and maybe Lazarus Hurst. 
Where? Here? On the... Yes. Yeah. I don't think this is Lazarus, though, because I think Lazarus okay. is in disguise with Oh, Walter. okay. Yes, yes. Gotcha. So let's read... Wait, maybe it's David. It kind of looks like him. Uh. Damn. I don't... Maybe it's not admission. Maybe it's... Evaluation? Transition? Yeah, unless that's supposed to be a guy, too. Treacherous trap exploded the slaughtered dearest friends. Mm. I guess it wouldn't be David. It's too handsome to be David. <laughs> right. This is where they captured the guy. Right. Wait, who has a carriage? David Gorin? Oh, wait, maybe that's where they dragged him or something? Hardy Abe. <laughs> Never mind. I gotcha. Maybe the, I mean, like. He is trying to be, appear like David Gorin. Yeah. So, a blank ambush blank posing as David Gorin. Right, <laughs> good one. Mm -hmm. did, and did we try um, Dark Hand Initiate on red, the Redhead? I don't... Wait, really? Oh, okay, cool. So he's just some guy, but he doesn't have a name. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's helpful. So... Oh, and so that would be Dark Hand Initiate right. as well. Nice. Okay, so then this is... Along with... Oh, wait, I think move that over to the... One space to the right. What? Is that a period or a comma? I honest. This is. I think. I think Dark Hand Initiate posing as David Gorin. No, look, he along with Blank ambushed Dark Dark Hand Initiate. Interesting. And then Dark Hand Initiate is this guy. Okay, yeah, that's and fair. And then that's yes, a okay. period. Mm -hmm. Somebody is posing. Yeah, blank blank posing as David Gorin. Oh, interesting. This this wicked web of <laughs> lies and intrigue. Yeah, so I'm going to put uh Okay. I guess Lazarus here. Mhm. Mm God. I'm a very okay. aware his proposed new candidate. Proves himself he can vouch for the newcomer, and if the newcomer survives appropriate trial, he will join our ranks. You are summoned to join our gathering 
Interesting. Maybe this is Lazarus then. Okay. Okay, wait. Interesting. House, mouth, fish, weather. Oh, wait. Okay, okay, okay. So this is a, what, proud beast? Steward, Steward. I think. Steward. And this mm -hmm. says... Oh, Inception. shit, you're right. Oh, my God. Okay, so... Hell yes. And this, I think, is Lazarus. Mm hmm Because he's, he's being allowed to join. I think you're a lot. I think you're right. Yo! Oh, ho, my ho. God! Okay. Boom. So that answers on the left what needs to be there. Yeah. This is Inception. Hell to the yes. Oh, my God. Yeah, Inception Ritual, you gotta <laughs> <laughs> determine if it's a dream or not by like using a, you know, top. yes, top, a top. Oh my god. <laughs> so now we know. Mm -hmm. Walter Keane was challenged to a dispute ritual. He along with... Okay, so I, I guess it must have been Walter who was... In disguise, right? Signaled. Mm hmm. Signal to blank. Oh. Oh, shit. Signal to someone with a tr maybe tray with a cup which had no poison. Maybe. This person drank the other cup and mm -hmm. died. Okay. I bet it was Jeffrey St. Clair who died, right? Wait. How did we determine who was Jeffrey St. Clair? He was the guy that wrote the letter. Right. He's the objector. And he is a mm -hmm. dark hand. Right. And and so he would be the second one to drink, so that would make sense. I think you're right that Jeffrey Sinclair is the dead one. But that couldn't be because he's a dark hand, right? He said our dark hand brother, but maybe that doesn't mean that he's a dark hand too. Yes, I think you're right. Well, Jeffrey. So and maybe this left. is on the left too. Oh, drink. On, in the yeah. Okay, signaled to. Walter Keen, would it be? No, it's Walter Keen who's in disguise. Okay. So maybe it's just like the name of right their rank. Ah, uh, uh, true. To to the water snake initiative. Water snake, yeah. Please. <laughs> Damn. Let's make sure it's the right rit ritual. Right. So we said, what do we pick? Uh, d dispute. Stewards are higher. Water snake master, and he yes he's holding the scepter. Okay. And right. Both bare feet. Thank God. Is that the only one that has water snake master? Oh, good point. So squabble, um, the sword must be borne by a dark hand. Okay, so that's not the right. case. So it must be. Okay. Dispute. Dispute. Okay. Law dispute. Hell yeah. Walter Keen was challenged to a dispute ritual. He, along with Lazarus, ambushed Dark Hand Initiative. We know that's right. Yes. Yes. Walter Keen, Helpful. Posing as David Goran, signal to Water Snake Initiative with a tray. Oh, maybe it's stuff like this, like where it says cup and tray. Maybe, yeah. Mm hmm. 
which right i think it i think the other cup is what that is at least huh i think the where where it says drank the other cup oh yeah i think okay with a signal to i think water or snake initiate is right with a a Oh, he signaled with a sword. Sword. Which, oh my god. I think had no poison, is correct. And I think that's cup, too. Oh. Yeah, with okay. a sword, which cup had no poison. I see. Yeah. So maybe. Instead of Water Snake Initiate, say Dark Hand Steward. Where? Here? There. Yes. Down. The Signal. Water Snake Initiate. I think that should be Dark Hand Steward. Yeah. Wait, let's see what the ritual is. It's here. hard because there's so many. It has to be dispute. Right, but what's the rule on like who has to drink oh, when? Oh, go to the top one. Oh yeah. Both drinkers must be barefoot. The substance is added depending on the severity. Okay, defender chooses first. Right. And then accuser chooses the remaining, and they both drink. Mm -hmm. That's a bad situation. You're going to lose a lot of people that I way. I know. Okay. There's a lot of wrong person being poisoned in this. That's a good point. Okay, Walter Payne was challenged. So we feel good about that. To a dispute ritual. This seems right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. He, along with Lazarus, ambushed him, we know. Mm hmm. Signaled. Blank posing as David Graham. Signaled. So maybe it's not David Graham. Maybe that's. Right. right there. This could be. Pose... Elder King posing as the like... Proud Beast Master. Damn. Uh, signal to Dark Hand Steward. With a sword. Which takes Maybe on? we could do a hint on this one. Uh, wait, let me finish. Jeffrey St. Clair okay. drank the other cup and died. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Lazarus passed the inception ritual to become. So we do know this. that part is right. Right. Maybe it's not Lazarus up top. Maybe it's David Grant. Well. <clears throat> here? Maybe. Oh, yeah, maybe because he left his stuff behind. Mm hmm But no. Maybe. Maybe. Walter Keane was part of the heist that, like, hurt David mm -hmm. Yes. Why would they be working together? That's a good <laughs> question. I think um, that's Lazarus. All right. Okay. And he's like, while well, you do that, I'll yeah. get branded. Right. Yeah. Okay. Two birds, one stone. Mm -hmm. So Walter Keane posing as... Maybe we can just try the other guy, which is the Dark Hand Initiate. 
Yeah. I think And he's it. holding a tankard, so he signaled with the tankard. Right. Huh? True. Oh, I like that. Which cup? Which cup had no pull? Ooh, okay. So... Oh yeah, because this was an initiate. This was a dark hand initiate, right. so he would be wearing his fucking clothes. Duh. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, but I, I like it. Okay. okay. Ambush dark hand initiate. Walter Kane posing as dark hand initiate. initiate. Signaled with signal signaled to. to a water snake. Oh, signal to Walter oh. Keen. Oh wait, no, he would not be signaling to himself. No. Maybe. David Gorin? Try, nah. maybe. Something. Uh, no. That, maybe. Just try. It doesn't make Please. sense. No. Okay. Wait, I think we're close, though. He, along okay. with <laughs> Lazarus, ambushed him. Walter Keen. Yes. And we know this is Walter, right? Because it's not Lazarus. True. Posing okay. as uh, dark hand initiate. Right. Signal two. So who would this be? Can you say Jeffrey Sinclair? Oh wait, no. Dre. No. We're saying Jeffrey died. Yeah. Unless, let's say for a minute, Jeffrey didn't die. Say Jeff, signal to Jeffrey Sinclair. No. Which tankard. Jeffrey was, Please. dude, it doesn't make sense because Jeffrey is the one who didn't like Walter or Lazarus. Damn. Okay. So they wouldn't yes. work together and he would be the like right. accuser. Okay. But I, it's like, who would be the third? Like, if this isn't right. Walter, who would be working with them? Would, I guess... Wait, would Walter be... Wait, no. Maybe Walter Keene isn't doing the posing. He's right. the accused. Yes, yeah, signal to Walter Keene. Mm -hmm. Okay, Walter Keene was challenged. So someone posing as Dark Hand Initiate. Damn. Could you do Dark Hand Steward, maybe? Let's do a hint. Yeah, that's fair. All right. Yes. We got Walter oh, here. Mm-hmm. Lucia. Pip. Uh, oh, absolutely. Thank you. This is not a pipe. Oh my god, never. <laughs> Don't even think it. There's no such thing as a pipe. Right. <laughs> the pipe is a lie from Portal. <laughs> Rose, Maurice. <laughs> Okay. The secret identities. Yeah. Consider this, my friend. Anyone can wear a robe and mask. Someone outside has something on his body that marks him as a member of the Brotherhood. But where are his robes and masks? We already know this one. Perhaps there's an imposter among the um, cultists. Um, Hoping out an accused brother... We know this. Maybe it is David Garan. Okay, go back. David Garan posing as Dark Hand Initiate. Maybe that. Maybe now they're buddies. <laughs> Wait, let's try and get one more hint because that one doesn't count. Okay. okay. Absolutely not. Um, Saw. My favorite film. Pink pot. Lothar. <laughs> A recognizable object. 
Absolutely. All right. Ritual upstairs. I guess, yeah. Or ranks well. and masks. No, I think that is. We know just that. Figure- yes. I was wondering, my friend, the cultists seem to be very particular about the interiors of their ritual chambers. Look for blue ribbons in ritual descriptions and a chamber. This should help you work out who is provi- presiding over the ritual. Blue ribbons. Oh, damn. Interesting. The Grim Reaper and the key and the book. Right. Oh, okay. So maybe dispute the Grim Reaper teacher, which is the book. Keeper of treasures is the key. Yeah, that's another one that I think okay. we already have. Yeah. Thanks. Hint. <laughs> now there is the option. What? Looking it up. Wait. Okay, okay. We will not feel good. Okay, that's fair. Let's turn another hint. <laughs> the ritual downstairs. <laughs> uh, shit. Yeah, let's... Well, what was the other thing? It was ritual downstairs and what else? Um, ranks and masks. Let's at least... Okay, yeah. Okay. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay. I say we keep going, even though I suggested it. Um. Yeah. Walter Keane was challenged to a dispute ritual. Wait, maybe. Is this dumb? What? That. Jeffrey Sinclair was the one that was... Challenged? Yeah, that was challenged. No, because then it says he, along with blank, ambushed the guy. Ah, yes, you're right. I think it's gotta be Walter. Or it could be... No, I think it's Walter Keene. Walter Keene was challenged. He, along with Lazarus, ambushed... Yes. Dark Canadish. That has to be... Yeah, Work. yeah. Okay, so then he, along with Lazarus, ambushed a dark initiate. Is there a way we would know their name? Or it's just, like, a he, guy? Yeah, honestly. Or wait. Uh, what? Okay, here's something that's weirding me out. Mm-hmm. What is... David Goran stuff doing there. Um, he was talking about how David Goran attacked them. In the note. Is that what you're asking? Oh, what is his like that's a good question. Why is it there? Why is his stuff there? Mi- right. Can you, did we try David Garand posing as Dark Hand Initiate? Well, it doesn't make sense that David Garand would be part of the plot, I don't think, because he was hurt by Walter right. and his crew. Right. So, if anything, they would be disguised as him, but his clothes are right. there. Oh, wait. What is This says... The gathering will be on March 14th. To follow our plan, we should be there at least two... Wait. Yo, I think David is in disguise. <gasps> okay, Wait a second. Go. Go. Oh, yes. He along with... Wait. David Garan ambushed Dark Hand Initiate. David Garan posing as Dark Hand Initiate. Does this make sense? Oh, shit. <gasps> shit. Okay, okay. Wait, Walter Keane was challenged for this. He along with David Grant ambushed our cannon initiate. David Grant. Posted. Maybe change the first David to Lazarus? Huh? 
If you change the first David Grant to Lazarus Hurst. I don't know. I, I mean, we can try it, but I think... Right. If it's if it goes wrong, though, we know... Yeah. That that was correct. Yeah. Okay, so... So this is David. So, yes. Ambush. Building is dark and initiate. Signaled with a tankard which cup had no poison. Jeffrey Sinclair drank the other cup wait, and maybe died this... while Lazarus wait, wait, wait. first. Never mind. Walter Walter. Oops. <laughs> okay. David Graham posing as challenged. Sword. This must be sword. Uh, oh. No. Really? I'd say it's still tankard. Yeah. Posing as Dark Hand Initiate. Wait, let's I've, maybe we can fill these in. Let's fill these in. Okay, okay. Uh, so that is David Duran with the tankard. If it's the tankard. Yes. Proud Beast Master. Then we think this is Walter. Walter. King. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, okay good. So, now then it's just the else? devil's in the details. Yeah, literally. So, Walter Keane was challenged to a dispute. He and Correct. David Grant ambushed. Because we know absolutely it's a dispute ritual. Right. Signal to Walter Keane with a tankard, which cup had no poison. Hmm. I w like, what could be missing? Honestly. Oh my god. We know it's a dispute ritual, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, wait. Go back to thinking. Um. Do initiate instead of proud instead of steward at the bottom interesting no because remember initiate is one eye so yeah like what he i guess he would be Yeah. Okay, so or initiate. Is... Proud Beast. Oh, wait. Maybe switch Proud Beast initiate? If that's it, I'm going to die. <laughs> oh, my God. Absolutely. Yo, oh seven case solved. I mean. Okay, don't I'm remind okay us of having... the hints. Yeah, they really helped. Being challenged to a ritual which potentially deadly consequences, Walter conspired with David to devise a plan which would ensure his own safety. They captured a Brotherhood member on his way. David took his costume so that during the ritual dispute he could indicate to Walter which cup was poisoned. Therefore, Walter chose a safe cup. Fuck yes. Damn. I feel so I... proud. I mean, truly. Is there a scene? We deserve one. Yeah. Well, it looks like the All next one will right. be a, a doozy. Truly. Looks my like some god. Pokemon bad shit. Oh my god, yes. Well, well played to you, Damn. good sir. Truly. No, that was a good one, I gotta say. I'm glad. Never look it up on this one. Stuff yeah. like Silent Hill, that's, that's okay, but here, no. No, we can figure it out together. 
Yes. Okay. Hello. All right. Well, thank you, CK, for stopping by. Thank you, Greggy. Thank you. Everybody to... who's offered a hint ever. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. And we'll be back next Sunday yes. to do more deductions. Hello. Anything you want to say? Um. Thank you, little make it. That really is the, <laughs> you know, the moral of the story. Keep it cheesy. Take it cheesy. Keep it. Keep it take sleazy. Take it sleazy. Keep it cheesy. <laughs>
Havoc, beat beef, it's mad traffic, sleek and lavish, people speak and leak it to the maverick, he see it as just another felony drug arrest, any day could be the one he picked the wrong thug to test, slug through the vest, shot in the street for pulling heat on a father who babies gotta eat, and when they get hungry, it ain't shit funny, paid to interfere with how brother get his money now, who's the real thugs, killers and gangsters, set the revolution, let them things bust and thank us, when the smoke clear and you can see the sky again, there will be the chopped off heads of a leviathan. My friend, I call them strangers. Anybody talk to them end up in some danger. Can't reform them. They pray four times a day, they pray five. Who weighs the strange when it's time to survive? Some will go of their own free will to die. Others take them with you when they blow sky high. What's the difference? All you get is lost children while the bosses sit up behind the desk and cost billions to blast humans in half into caps and arms. Only one side is allowed to have bombs. It's like making a soldier drop his weapon and shoot them and telling them to get the step in. Obviously, it came to portion of his fortune. Sounds to me like that old robbery extortion. You can't reform them.